What is going on everybody? It's Donny G Buckets here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, today I just want to talk about the uh, NBA free agency. I think it's day two and right now I just want to say Lakers and four. It's looking like it's going to be Lakers versus the Nets in the finals and the Lakers, they probably going to sweep them because I don't know if y'all realize this or not, but the Lakers, they now have, let's just go, matter of fact, let's just go look and uh, type in Rob Palenka. Um, let's see, no, actually I'm typing Lakers roster. I'll give y'all a look at what it looks like right now. Lakers roster. All right, so as of today, the Lakers roster is LeBron James, of course, Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, Carmelo Anthony, Malik Monk. We picked him up today. Dwight Howard, Mark Gasol, Trevor Ariza, Wayne Ellington, Kent Bazemore, and Alfonso McKinney. Not to mention that we also just signed Talon Horton Tucker back for three more years. And a shocker was Kendrick Nunn from the Heat. Did not see that coming at all. So our starting lineup currently is looking like Russell Westbrook at the one. At the two, it's either going to be Malik Monk, um, Kent Bazemore, or Talon Horton Tucker. At the three, of course, is LeBron James. Four, Anthony Davis. And five is Dwight Howard. And honestly, we could slide Anthony Davis to the five and, and start Carmelo Anthony. I think that would be a pretty good lineup, too. Um, so our lineup is probably the best lineup on paper right now. And could y'all imagine this lineup if each team, each player was like in their prime? LeBron in his prime, AD, Westbrook, Carmelo, and Dwight Howard, Mark Gasol too. That that team would be absolutely disgusting. But right now we do got a lot of old players. I think LeBron's like 30, what, what is he, like 36? AD's about to be 29. Westbrook's like 33. Carmelo's 36, I think. Dwight Howard's in his 30s. Mark Gasol's in his 30s. Trevor Ariza. I think Wayne Ellington's in his 30s too. Our average team age is around 32 years old. So we probably got to be the oldest team in the league right now. So our new big three, LeBron, Anthony Davis, and Westbrook. But the craziest part is that during this free agency, there has been two other teams that gained a big three as well. The Heat, they gained Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, and Kyle Lowry. And the Bulls got Zach Levine. DeMar DeRozan just signed there today and Vucevic and right now the Bulls are looking like a pretty good team they're looking like they're looking like a really good team honestly the Bulls like he said right here the Bulls kind of got a big four they got Lonzo Ball too and they got Laurie Markkinen Kobe White they have a really good team right now uh not really sure how the defense is going to be but they definitely got a way better team and they'll probably make the playoffs this year I think they'll be like around a six seed this year their starting lineup looks like Lonzo Ball at the one Zach Levine at the two, DeMar DeRozan at the three, Laurie Markin at the four, unless they trade him, and then they'll put Patrick Williams there if they do trade him, and then Vucevic at the five with Kobe White coming off the bench. That is a really, really good, that's a really good lineup, I'm going to be honest. And the Heat, they lost Kendrick Nunn, but, you know, they do have a big three now. They got a point guard they needed. Um, they got a really good defense now from Lowry, Jimmy Butler, and Bam. They probably got one of the best defenses in the league. And, of course, the other big three is the Lakers with Russell Westbrook getting traded there. LeBron and Anthony Davis. So like I said, right now it's looking like it's going to be Lakers versus Nets in the finals. Um, assuming that every player is is healthy. Um, but yeah, this is a crazy day for our Lakers. For If you're a Lakers or Bulls fan or Heat fan, it was a pretty crazy uh, start to the week, I guess you can say. The team's got a lot better. What does it say? Uh, winners and losers from the losers from the free agency. I think the the three winners right now are pretty much the Bulls, the Heat. I think the Knicks they won a little bit too, and also the Lakers, for sure. The definitely the Lakers. But um, yeah, I didn't see this. I didn't even think that we had this much cap space, but I guess we do, and we're still looking for other people. I think that what we should do with Russell Westbrook is try to flip him for um some more key pieces and like a shooting guard, not a shooting guard, but like a guard that can shoot. I really want Buddy Hill. I'm gonna be honest. I, I do. I really do want Buddy Hill. I feel like he'll fit the team better than LeBron uh, than Westbrook will with LeBron and AD because Buddy Hill can pretty much play off ball and just be like that shooting or score that we need. Um, but our team got a lot better with the shooting. We were like one of the worst shooting teams in the NBA last year, and this year we picked up Carmelo, who last year shot around five threes a game and shot over forty percent. Malik Monk shot over 40% from the three-point line, and also Wayne Ellington shot 42% from the three-point line. So we got infinitely better at shooting. I thought that us trading away our best shooters, which is KCP and Kuzma, would hurt us, but we, I guess, you know, Rob Palenka had a plan, and the plan's working out right now. 
So let me know who you think is winning free agency so far. I think it's the Lakers. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, like it so I can get in that algorithm and start boosting my videos a little bit more. And don't forget to press that bell notification so that you're notified when I post a new video. But this is Donnie G Buckets. Comment the team that you think is going to win the championship next year. And until the next video, I'm out.